So, what's up, guys? How do you do? Welcome to Asian Program Wizards TV. In this class, we're going to see how to populate, of course, a combo box router with data from a hash table. So, basically, we're having our hash table as our data source. Then, we're going to use it to populate our combo box, as you guys can see. Then, get whatever clicked and show, of course, in a message box. This is what we're going to look at. So, join us till we get started. Okay, so you do welcome right here. Of course, first I am going to assume that you guys can actually create a project. So proceed over in know Visual Studio and then create a project. I'm using Visual Studio 2013. The first thing we're going to specify our namespace. Normally, classes in C Sharp they do get organized in namespaces. So combo box hash table is my namespace. Then I'm going to specify my imports using the using directive. Okay, we normally use this using directive to add, of course the namespaces are the namespaces that we're going to make using so system.collections system.drawing system.windows.forms these are the things the namespaces i'm going to make use of in my project then we'll come right here static class program okay so program i'm going to have it uh, the program right here this is a static class it's our main and only class then i'm going to have of course as a data member a combo box that i'm calling combo box then i'm going to have my main method so public static void main this is my main method then of course form my form equal to new form we're going to instantiate the form and then using object initializer we're going to set the form properties text router window win forms combo box hash table example okay then of course this is like the title of the form then the clan size equal to new size 564 by 420 width by height then of course color color back color equal to color dot right salam salmon that's the color i'm using up this is my background color then combo box equal to new combo box then we specify the location assigning it a point object then the drop down style from our combo box style enum we select the drop down list that's the style of our combo box that we're going to make use of then we're going to instantiate the hash table now this hash table is going to be our data so so hash table nebula equal to new hash table then using object initializer we're going to set the data of course in our hash table our first data is actually the host head the h2 region of course that's the type of the nebula then of course we proceed over add more uh we proceed over and add more nebula of course into our hash table so of course once we have that one then we're going to instantiate a binding source so binding source binding source equal to new binding source then by the way we're using the keys as our data source remember a combo box can only display for us at least this default combo box by default it can only display for us a uh, one row or one column of items okay one column so we're going to choose the keys instead of the values which are going to be the nebula names then we're going to have it right there okay so this of course is our data source then the data member we just pass null then of course combo box the data source equal to binding source we assign of course our combo box to our binding source okay data source property we assign it a, a binding source so that's what we're going to do right there then of course once we have that one then combo box the selected index changed then we're going to come right here create our event handler then of course just combo box the select index change plus equal to then you press your tab key twice then this one will get generated for us by visual studio intelligence okay this static method this is actually our event handler you can see it's taking in an object right here as well as an event tags object so yeah we're going to come and then message box to show basically when the combo box item is selected we're going to show that selected item so combo box dot selected item dot to string this will show for us the item well once we have that one then of course next we just come add our combo box to our controls property so my form dot controls dot add we add the combo box then application dot run my form and that's what we do so yeah just click the start method to run our project so that we can see our result so if we proceed and run the project this is what we're getting richer okay running perfectly 
we've used the combo box as our data source and we've actually populated our of course combo box we've used of course a hash table as our data source and as you can see we've populated our combo box right here so like the video share it subscribe and take care i'll catch you in the next class